This is the release mechanism up here. Uh, so basically you have a Kevlar line that comes off the end of the throwing arm, which goes up to here. This is a, a little rod that's attached to a plate and this has a, this is a pivot on here. Um, and then this is just a piece of, uh, it's not angle iron, but it's like a bracket. Um, I don't remember what it was off of. It might've just been raw material. Uh, that's on a, a, a hinge there. It's just a screw basically holding it in place and then a rope attached it to this and then you pull it this way and then that releases the pin and then it drops down. So you can pull on this really, really hard, but because the rope itself is actually way down here, there's a, there's a mechanical advantage, there's a leverage on this. So there's actually very little pressure on this part here. But once that is removed, then this slips off very, very quickly. So that makes it a lot easier to uh, you know get the weights hooked up up here and uh, not have to hold on to it. But today we're gonna be firing this with 40 pounds of weight instead of 20 pounds. This is the cucumber we're gonna be firing in the trebuchet. Uh, not the whole thing is too big for the sling anyways. We're gonna cut this in half and then we're gonna get two shots out of this. All right, so this first test shot is gonna be with 30 pounds. I don't wanna to go to the full 40 just yet, just because it's, uh, I mean, that was, it was really difficult to even try to get this to, to lift it. Well, with one person anyways by myself. And it feels like it would be a tremendous amount of force. So we'll start with 30, since we do have cu uh, two cucumbers. It's just gonna go in here, the half of it. All right, I guess we'll uh, see what happens. Go ahead. Yeah, so this is why I don't have it right by the windows. <laughs> that was a frozen cucumber and it's it's not frozen anymore. Not really, it's slush. Okay, I guess we'll have to try it again. I don't know what happened. Go ahead. Alright, this will be the final test here. Cucumbers loaded up and I got all 40 pounds of weight on there and it feels dangerous. And I got Jessie on the trigger over here. Very easy to pull that trigger, she likes it. Go ahead. Okay, we're trying the trebuchet again today, starting with 40 pounds. I have the weights actually tied together because uh, when I was looking at the high speed before, when they were coming down, they were separating, which means that they, there wasn't the full pull of the weight, only the, maybe the bottom two weights were probably doing most of the pulling until it got towards the bottom. So they're all tied together and we're gonna be throwing an apple today since it's more aerodynamic. These are older apples, we're not gonna eat them. And um, I adjusted this little uh, holder here so that it kind of stays put because I think last time we threw a cucumber I think it may have slipped out sideways when it was spinning before it got enough speed and came out of the sling and went backwards so I think that should solve that and also the apples are aerodynamic so we're going to see if I can get them to throw further. Go ahead. Well, <laughs> there goes the apple. This is why we have the board back here. You can see that the apple exploded onto the board. 
There's pieces of it all over here. I think it just fell out of the sling again. I guess my little uh, modification didn't make a difference, but we'll try it again. Alright, that last shot worked pretty well. It didn't go quite as far as I thought it would. I think it's because the apples are a little heavier than my other stuff. So uh, I think what happened the first time was the, I didn't notice, I think that the release uh, string here was on the other side. I think this was flipped. This needs to be on top for that to come off and go upwards to release it properly. Not sure, but I'm just guessing I, that might have been what it was. So I'll try another one here. Go ahead. All right, both of those last shots that we did were uh, throwing at a pretty high angle. I don't want it to go high, I want it to go further. So I made the release pin a little more of a steeper angle here so that it will uh, release it later. And hopefully we get it to go maybe a 45 or just a little bit less so it can go further. Oh! <laughs> Well, that was our last apple and it fell out of the sling again somehow hit the board over there obviously so we're gonna try maybe a golf ball all right we loaded a golf ball in here i did review the high speed footage of the other apples that were hitting the board behind it here making a mess and it, it did fall out of the sling I pr i'll probably i probably actually already put it in the slow-mo of the video here but yeah it came down underneath and it fell out about halfway right before it hit the board and then hit the board behind it so this golf ball though, we'll see how far this goes. Go ahead. Jesse, my trigger woman has had enough fun for today. So we're gonna put it away, but uh, if the video caught it, uh, you saw the golf ball went in a straight, almost like a line drive straight and hit a tree and had some tree branches and then past that, it probably just went to the woods, but that's because the angle of that pin was too far forward. It's really hard to keep adjusting that for different projectiles. This is why I kind of, I said before, it'd be better just to throw the same thing all the time uh, to be more consistent, but I guess that's kind of the fun in it. So I'll probably post another video maybe later on and another day with throwing something else. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. That one really...